Okay, so today we're going to be showcasing the 8-bit Goku this time around. If you haven't seen the 8-bit Vegeta showcase, make sure you do so. It was yesterday's video. And so we're going to be comparing him with this Goku here. They both got an EZA simultaneously. Uh, we're going to go through the details, what has changed about this card. Just like the Vegeta, their stats are amazing. Uh, this one, however, has an even higher attack stat. 15,886 attack stat. <laughs> It blows my mind, like, this is just a TUR card that has almost 16,000 attacks that. 13,211 HP and 10,537 defense. Uh, just like Vegeta, they're both 44% stat boost leaders. Uh, this Goku is for the Goku's family and, su and super class. Uh, and then they both have the same super attack mechanic, which is raise attack and defense for four turns. Supreme damage to the enemy. The passive skill, whenever they make a Vegeta and Goku card, they always have to have the opposites, right? So this time, Goku gets attack plus 88% at the start of the turn, with a defense boost of 88% when performing a super attack, and then he gets an additional attack plus 88% when versing extreme class enemies. Uh, so they're still getting the same boost. However, Goku doesn't get the defense until he super attacks, which is unfortunate. You can get unlucky when you only normal attack, and then you don't get any defense whatsoever. Or if you put him in the first slot, he doesn't get defense uh, while tanking the first few hits at the start until he takes the attack. So Vegeta's more usable for all slots, while Goku here is only usable for second and third slot. So that's an issue there, uh, which is why we favor Vegeta just a little bit more. Uh, then for the Link skills, I don't think they changed from the previous versions. I think the Link skills are all right. Nothing too spectacular. In fight is nice. He's got some good uh, links for his categories that he's in, which I think is more usable than what Vegeta's link set is like the categories that Goku is in is like pure Saiyans, which is fine prepared for battle Kamamiha all in the family can work pure, uh low class warriors which still technically works as well full power Goku's family Kamamiha and turtle school which is not on global but turtle school actually works really well uh with his link set so link and category wise I think Goku works just better there but uh passive skill Vegeta has Goku beat which means he is technically a better card regardless of links <laughs> so we're going to be running him under goku's family and we're just going to verse android cell saga uh, infinite dragon ball history event since there's a few in stages right, early on we just have to deal with jiro which uh does absorb our key base but if we can get the stun then it should be okay all right so let's have goku here with the seal if we can get the stun that would be great from super battle Royale goku 1.3 million attacks that. So we did see Vegeta in yesterday's video get 2.4 million attacks that. I don't know if like the positioning of the attack passive skill changes in any way. I know that Goku should have more attack power, attack stat, because he has more uh, attack stat in the just the card itself. And then you calculate everything else, then hopefully Goku has more attack power. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll put... Goku there anyway. He's going to absorb, but we get to see he's like attack power. 186,000 attack stat with 55,000 defense. So you should get around like 130 ish thousand defense right there after he attacks. Actually, more than that because he raises his own attack and defense for four turns. 1.5 million attack stat. Actually, not too bad. Uh, that's without the stack, of course. We need to wait for one more turn. And this is only with one support as well. I'm going to link him up with the Goku and Gohan, the easy A one that is all in the family prepared for battle in Kamamiha. I don't think we're activating Int Fighter in this team. So that's unfortunate. Uh, Goku's power pull is a stun move, so we'll do that. So I think we're just going to obliterate the first two phases here. Yep. And then move on to... I think it's another int. Is it 17 or 18 first? 18. So yeah. Okay. Type advantage now, finally. 100,000 defense, which is not a bad starting defense. Uh, and that's with double support though. So that does fluctuate the defense quite a bit. Uh, almost 2 million attack stat. I really want Goku to get a additional just so we can see an even stronger attack stat. Because like, it's going to be a lot of an increase. Let me know in the comment section, which one do you prefer, Goku or Vegeta? I'm team Vegeta. It's one of the, f I feel like it's one of the few times where Vegeta actually 
has the upper hand compared to Goku. So that's really good. I'll try not to kill 18 here. Don't want that to happen. Oh, the counter super attack. <laughs> Was not expecting that. This shouldn't kill, right? Yeah. Okay, he did an additional. That was it was a really high chance that Goku could have additional super. Hard disadvantage, not a big deal. And then no. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. Uh, Three hundred and thirty-five thousand attacks. That. All right. All right, Goku. Here we go. Yep, just under two million. Once again. 2.2 million damage. It's actually insane that they're getting over 2 million damage anyway without the crit. Even though it is type advantage, but we don't worry about the, the complex stuff. I think we gotta collect non-colored orbs from now on. So we get the Doken mode with the Goku. And it'll be perfect timing against Android 16, which is our last int phase. Oh, a super attack. That's not nice. We're gonna probably print a snake next turn. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Alright, so we'll print a snake here. We'll see how well this Goku can tank if he doesn't kill, which I don't think he will. Ooh, this time he's got 2.1. I guess because we're under the 50% HP mark last time. Yes, the double super. That's huge. That's going to be su- Hold on, what the- <laughs> That's going to be super huge when we do that Doken mode. Alright, we won't do any sort of super attacks unless necessary. Up, oh, 20% battery. Like right here, we will just get a super attack with High School Gohan. Now, with the Doken mode, double stacked, technically triple stacked, Goku should be able to take out Android 16 here when it comes to his turn. What kind of rotation do we have? Not a bad one. All right, here we go. Let's grab this. Let's go like that, and we're bam. All right, here we go. 2.1 million attack stat. Okay. This is with double 30% support. Here we go. How much will this be? 4.6 million damage so i was pretty accurate when it was uh vegeta's showcase i knew they would do easily four million over that uh with a doka mode type advantage that's actually insane they're really strong cards don't get me wrong it's just that i don't find it usable like there's a difference between really strong and then really usable like int freezer the easy a one with fierce battle is usable like, maybe Goku, I'll probably end up using more than the Vegeta, because Turtle School might be actually a good category for him. Uh, and then... Like, Kamamiha is so filled up. Goku's family is so filled up. Full power might be might be doable, because that mixes up with Turtle School anyway. Uh, and then Pure Saiyan's filled up as well. Low-class Warriors might be a shout, though. But those two categories are, like, so... We don't use that that much, but... And same as Vegeta. Anyway, make sure you check out the Vegeta Showcase. I talk more in depth into why Vegeta is not as usable and some issues with him. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video as we have daily content here on the JFanner channel. So make sure you put on the notification bell. Check out all my social medias down in the description. But until the next video, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.